What's up guys? We're back in the kitchen again today. Just finished working out, so we're a little bit late, but uh, trying to figure out something to make. Uh, we got some sausages in the fridge, so I'm gonna make some keto pigs in a blanket. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this started. It's gonna be good, it's gonna be easy, it's gonna be quick, because we ain't got a lot of time, so we gotta make it right now. All right guys, here's a quick look at the ingredients. Pretty easy, carb quick. It's like a low carb bisque quick. That equals out to about two grams net per biscuit. And then we got a half stick of butter, some shredded cheddar cheese, some heavy whipping cream, and these are kielbasa sausages I got from Costco. They're pretty good. Uh, and then just get a big pack of them and I break them down and freeze them. So I just thaw that out and it'll make it real easy. So we're just gonna make a, like a dough to wrap around the sausages and then we'll pop them in the oven. All right guys, so the first thing we'll add is the two cups of carb quick. Uh, you can find this online pretty much anywhere. You can order it pretty cheap from Amazon, but Makes really good pancakes and waffles, and biscuits and stuff. Uh, and it's pretty cheap, so I get it off Amazon, but I can't find anywhere local that sells it. But we'll just start with two cups of the carb quick. In that, I'm gonna add some garlic powder, some black pepper, a little bit of salt. Then we'll add four tablespoons of melted butter and one fourth cup heavy cream mixed with one fourth cup water to equal a half cup. You just want to go ahead and mix that up with your hands until it starts to form a dough. It starts to resemble a dough like that. I like to add about a full of sharp cheddar. Go ahead and mix that into the dough. Alright guys, once you got the dough mixed together, something kind of like that. Go ahead and take a little bit of the carb quick and kind of spread it out on your cutting board. And then if you have a rolling pin, we're gonna go ahead and roll this out. It might be a little clumpy like that, but just go ahead and pat it back down. And then since we have uh, five sausages, we'll go ahead and cut this up into five uh, kind of equal sized strips. What I found helps is if you take a spatula and kind of slide it underneath first, it helps lift it up so it doesn't break apart. And then just take that and kind of, and then we'll just roll it around our sausage. After you should end up with something that looks kind of like that. Keep working the sausage jokes. All right guys, once they're all done, go ahead and put them on a cookie sheet with lined with parchment paper and we're gonna put them into a preheated oven at 450 degrees for 10 minutes or until they're about golden brown. Another thing you can do guys before you put them in is you can brush them with some butter where I'm just gonna use a little bit of EVLO and just brush the tops of them. And then, that, then you can sprinkle some more seasonings on top. This is just a little bit of parsley and that'll help it stick. Uh, and then I'm just gonna put a little bit more cheese on top of them. Here we go, about 12 minutes later, they're all done and we're ready to eat. So let's go ahead and plate these things up. They look great though. So there we go guys, enjoy it with some spicy mustard and I'm gonna have a side salad, but it should turn out real good. So there you go guys, I hope you liked that one. As always, hit the bell button to get the notifications for when I post new cooking vids. And uh, always stay tuned. I hope you guys like that. If you didn't see the one earlier this week, the keto steak sauce, that one turned out really good. People seem to really like that one. So go ahead and check that out uh, in the link. And then I hope you guys like this one. If you, try, if you tried it, let me know how you like it in the, in the comments below. If you end up changing the recipe a little bit and trying something else, then let me know how that turned out. But thanks again for watching, guys. As always, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.